the only solar energy project in the entire United States to benefit the Federal Energy Assistance Program is being honored in Leech Lake. As Mel Meyer reports from Cass Lake, the project will help more community members receive assistance with their energy bills. The many tribal, environmental, and community engagement groups involved during the process are coming together to turn on the solar array. The site behind the Prescott Community Center is one of five on the reservation. In total, the nearly half a million dollar project is considered a long-term investment. We can permanently address energy poverty by delivering solar direct to low-income communities. Last year, Leech Lake Reservation Energy Assistance helped pay off the energy bills of nearly 1,000 families in Beltrami, Cass, Hubbard, and Itasca counties. Our energy assistance isn't able to cover everyone that requests energy assistance, especially if it's a bad year. The installations will power an additional 100 homes for low-income families who may have to decide to pay one bill over another. The heating season can be a period of dread, anxiety. How am I going to ensure I can keep my house warm for my children. The installation is also providing for those who worked on it. The Initiative Foundation helped three students at Leech Lake Tribal College receive the necessary license to build the structures. Anytime we can help somebody uh, develop the skills so that they can be economically self-sufficient, and give back to their community, you're having a good day. The organizations hope that this lays the groundwork for others looking to save some green while going green. Real has really just provided a really groundbreaking project that's exciting to hopefully see replicated, not only here, but across the country. The final solar array is expected to be installed at the Leech Lake Tribal College by the end of this year. In Cass Lake, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. The low income Home Energy Assistance Program gave Minnesota over $100 million in block grant funds during the 2017 fiscal year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.